Hello students, welcome to the biology class. Today we are going to genetic code. In our previous session, we discussed about on RNA, the nitrogen bases are present in the form of U, A, G, C. These nitrogen bases has to be read out and then there should be the formation of polypeptides that forms the protein known as translation. How these nitrogen bases are being coded, how the amino acid will select the particular nitrogen bases, that relationship is known as genetic code. So, the relationship between the sequence of nucleotides on mRNA and the sequence of amino acid in polypeptide is called genetic code. And the various scientists, they contributed to establish or the formation of the genetic code. Number one is George Gomau suggested that the code must be of three bases in order for 20 amino acid. As we know that there are 20 amino acid present in our body and they has to code the nitrogen bases present on the mRNA. We are having only four nitrogen bases known to us that is adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil on RNA. And if one nitrogen base code for one amino acid, only four amino acids can participate in the formation of protein. Then they suggest to make them a doublet, means pairing, that is A, G, A, C, A, T. Then we will get such 16 pairs only. Again, the four are left out amino acid, which cannot participate in polypeptide. To make the participation of whole of 20 amino acids, the George suggested that the code must be of three base in order to code for 20 amino acids because there are only four bases and 4 raised to power 3 give us 64 code for 20 amino acid and the codone is triplet. Another scientist is that the name of another scientist is Hargobind Khurana who has suggested the developed chemical method for synthesizing RNA molecule with defined base combination that is homopolymers and copolymers to develop the genetic code. Then we are having the Marshall Nerbung developed the cell-free system for protein synthesis and thus artificially synthesizes protein to understand the nature of codons. Servo Ocha demonstrated that the polynucleotide phosphorase also helped in polymerizing RNA with defined sequence in template independent manner that is enzymatic RNA synthesis. Now you can see that how the genetic code checkerboard is being formed in which each codone is having three nitrogen bases that is U, U, U that forms one codone, U, C, U forms another codone and they are equivalent to or specific for the particular amino acid that is U, C, C for the C ring, UAA for tyrosine. Fine, so these are called as a triplet codon and we are having the various silent features for the genetic code which helps in the formation of polypeptide. First is codon, they are triplet, that is U, U, U. Out of 64 codons, 61 code for 20 amino acid and there are three codons which are known as top codons, which are known as your terminating codon. They do not code for any amino acid. That is UAA, UAG, UGA. 
so whenever these ketones are there there is no amino acid and that's called as a terminating amino acid where the polypeptide chain is terminated or stopped so they are having the 64 ketones out of 64 61 code for 20 amino acid three ketones do not code for any amino acid they are function as stop or the terminating ketones one ketone codes for only one particular amino acid as we have explained earlier that is uu they will code only for one amino acid that is phenyl allyl so on the mrna where there is a ketone uuu against that we are having the amino acid phenyl allyl if there is a ketone that is as a UGU then there is a cytosine so each ketone is specific for a particular amino acid and that particular feature is known as specific in nature or unambiguous opposite to that some amino acid are coded by more than one ketone and such feature is known as degenerates so what's the meaning of that here you can see the phenyl allylene can code for UU as well as it code for UUC. So one amino acid can code for more than one ketone. The property, the feature is known as degenerate. But one amino acid, one ketone can code only for one amino acid. Means jab mRNA ke upar jahaan pe bhi U, U, U aayega, wahaan pe phenyl allylene hi attach hooga during the translation. But agar U, U, C aata hai, to wahaan pe bhi phenyl allylene attach ho sakta hai. Means one amino acid can code for more than one amino acid. Matlab one amino acid can go with more than one ketones. That is known as degenerate. But one ketone is specific only for one amino acid. That is UU for phenyl allylene. But phenyl allylene can also go with UUC. So this is very important question that what is the difference between an ambiguous specific or degenerate. The ketone is read on mRNA in the contiguous fashion means without any punctuation without any comma full stop that is called as the comma less genetic code is nearly universal means if aug is equivalent to the methionine and this is universal in the bacteria as well as in the human so they are universal that is particular ketone code for the same amino acid to all the organism from bacteria to human except in the mitochondria and few protozoa. The last is we are same as we are having the terminating ketones we are also having the initiating ketone that is your AUG but it plays two roles that is it is known as your initiating ketone as well as it is ketone for the methionine. So the translation starts from the ketone that is AUG. But in between if there is AUG, again the methionine can attach over there. They can form the bonding over there for the formation of polypeptide chain. So we are having the very important features related with the genetic code. They are 64 out of 64 only 61 are functional and three are known as a stopping ketones there is no comma no full stop in between reading of the ketones on the mrna they are specific for the particular amino acid but one amino acid can go with more than one ketones so that is degenerate and specific nature aug is the initiating ketone UAA, UGA, UGA, they are called as your stopping ketones or your terminating ketone. So this is about the genetic code. So next is your mutation. As we have discussed in our previous chapter, mutation is known as the sudden change in the genetic material. It may be DNA. 
so it can be of the following type that is known as your point mutation in which one particular nitrogen base is replaced at one particular position for example in sickle cell anemia in beta globin chain results in the change of glutamate to the valine so how the glutamate is changed to the valine so here you can see the glutamate is there that is gag so they are having this one on the beta uh, globin chain but the valine is there if that a is replaced by u so you can see if this a is replaced by this u so instead of glutamic acid you will have a valine so this is what called as the point mutation so the next is your frame shift mutation if you can see this is your normal dna if one particular you can see the c is added so you will read it as a t c c g a t c g and so on means with the addition of a particular nitrogen base you have to change the frame of reading but if the addition is with three nitrogen bases means one complete cadone is being added or it is being deleted then the frame is reading frame is not changed but increase or decrease of amino acids are there so the frame shift is the change in the reading frame because of the insertion or deletion of the base pair insertion is the addition of one or more nucleotides in the dna segment insertion of three or its multiple bases do not change the reading but add the new amino acid deletion is the removal of one or more nucleotide from the dna segment but if there is three or the multiple of three change bases but they remove one or more amino acids so by this there is a change in the heritable which is known as your mutation the next which is again very important is trna that is adapter molecule because it was proposed by the francis crick only crick is there who has proposed the structure or the presence of adapter molecule not watson so we usually used to say watson and crick but here the trna is proposed only by the crick proposed the presence of an adapter molecule which could read the code on one end and the another end would bind to the specific amino acid so while reading that so you can see the structure of this one so trna which is having a four arms that is your one this is your first arm this is your second third fourth and this is fifth arm so you can see this is the messenger rna having the particular genetic code on them that is uac it is read by the trna and they are having the anti cadone u go with a a go with u and c go with g according to this cadone there is the amino acid over there which will be taken for the translation so this is the anti cadone and so the which has a base complementary to the cadone this is known as your amino acid end this is known as which will bind to the you can say to the ribosome this will bind to the ribosome and this will bind to the amino acyl synthetase which is known as the enzymes helps in activation of trna and this is your variable arm fine so we what we can say so what is trna the secondary structure of trna is clover leaf like but three dimensional tertiary structure depict it as a compact inverted l shaped structure like this way this is your anti cadone site and this is your amino acid site this is inverted l shaped structure this is also known as your s rna that is earlier it is being known as s rna means soluble and it plays a very important role as adapter because it used to read the cadone then adapt it as anti cadone then amino acid will attach to the amino acid end and taken to the site of the protein synthesis so trna is specific for the particular amino acid 
specific tRNA for initiation is called as an initiated tRNA which carrying the methionine and there is no tRNA for the stop codone so no amino acid is available and that is called as the termination of the protein synthesis. So today we have discussed about the genetic code, we have discussed mutation, tRNA which plays a very important role in our next session that is known as translation. Till then, stay home, stay happy. Thank you.